fellow YouTubers, Sup Dude Gecko30 here, and I am back, guys, playing Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Anyways, guys, today, guys, we are going to be doing some other loyalty missions as best as we can. Normally, we do one at a time, but we'll see how far we can get, though, on the loyalty missions. But we'll just have to see, though, guys. So, let us begin, guys, shall we? I think we're, of course, we are going to start with Garrus' loyalty mission. I always like to do Garrus' loyalty mission first, so we are going to do Garrus. Yep, here it is. Help Garrus. Alright, to the Citadel. Time to help out Garrus. Okay, so we'll take Tally with us, and of course we're taking Garrus. We'll stick with that one. Okay. Let's go. I found references to a forger named Fade in CSEC crime reports, Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Alright then. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. <laughs> I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Alright, at least over here... Let's check out if there's any new stuff in the shops. Ooh, yes there is! Sweet! Alright, we got a bit of stuff now. At least they're adding some new stuff around here. Hmm. On the off-screen, I'm gonna have to see about the other stores then. On, like on Omega or something. Come on, there. please, you have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a day. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite <laughs> store in the Citadel. That advertisement. Okay, nothing here. But I know there's a mission here that will involve Tally. 
yeah, there it is. And we can be able to go Commander there. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Guys. Okay, so it looks like most of these stores don't really have much of anything yet. Okay. Oh, there it is. And then we go in there. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit chit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. <laughs> You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. She's not a vagrant. She's on pilgrimage. It's a tradition in which... Look, you can take your traditions and cram them. Every time a quarian shows up here, it's trouble. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Do you spend a lot of time with the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... Your pilgrimage isn't going so well, is it? No. I... I came here thinking there'd be a lot of work. EVA stuff. Salvage. Fixing all the damage the Geth attack caused. Everywhere I went to apply, sign said not hiring quarians. And the other people would give me mean looks. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible that Chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. You say she stole your credit, Chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit, Chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Quarians are only forced to steal when people like you won't let them have real jobs. And to think my taxes pay to support you here. Go back to your fleet, clanless. I am Clan Zora, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. It's not worth getting angry about. My brain agrees with you. My gut says I should jack his suit's olfactory filter so that everything smells like refuse. Remind me never to get on your bad side. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? Anything's I possible. I didn't buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Come on. <laughs> Luckily, we've done this one before, so we know where the credit chit is. So. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. <laughs> well, we found it. Let's go talk to them. You know what quarians are. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The quarian could have stolen it. Oh, gosh. I'll close this event report. But I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? 
You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... <laughs> Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Good luck, Leah Bael. Thanks. <laughs> Alright. Let's get moving, then. This looks like the place. The Forger's thug should be inside. Let's get moving, Garrus. I just got Garris. a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. <laughs> What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well then, maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yeah, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Thade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. <laughs> oh, good. All right, let's go then. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omni Gel Converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Factory District. Here we go. Okay, let's see, Garris, and, uh, uh, hmm, guys, the choice is, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. it's been a while since we've seen Tally in actions, let me think if we're going to take her anywhere else, do, 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 do. no, so, we'll take Tally with us. That way we can see her back in action. All right, here we go then. Everything should be still the same weapon. The, yes, here we go.
There he is. Shepard? Don't just stand there. Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Get into cover. Incoming! Let's roll. Max. All safe. Run a bypass. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. Credits out of that. miss anything. Pass quickly. Are well, they keeping them busy? All right, there. Oh, there's another one here. Jesus. Okay. Man, this at least at least we're getting credits, so I, I'm not complaining.
Hack laptop. No. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Now where is the lag? There we go. Credit still, not bad. Getting close. Run a bypass. And there we go. I think that's about it here. Yep, yeah, okay. So Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. something he's getting ready for us what are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate he's a real criminal now working for the Blue Suns I should just shoot him on sight but I need him alive so I won't do any permanent damage just enough to loosen his tongue you don't need to hurt him to get what you want don't worry Harkin's a coward he'll talk long before I can really hurt him what are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? he's a real criminal but I need him alive. I always so hate it when I do that. Do any permanent damage. Just you don't need to hurt him to get. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. Let's go get him then. There's one way to find out. Right behind you. Let's move it. 
Attack this terminal real quick. Oh, I'm good. This should come in handy. Huh, finally. Got some gear. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Why don't you just turn around? <clears throat> oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tally and her little drone. I'm not running from you, Shepard. You really should. Hawkins going to regret this. Oh, crap. To heavy mechs, incoming. Do you really think you can take me down, Shepard? Kind of, yeah. Eat this. Ah. Well, shit. Was epic. Time to get Harkin now. <laughs> really think a few little mechs are gonna stop us? We just tore through your two heavy ones. So, Fade, couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <coughs> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, 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 uh. Ah, 
Sidonis really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge in the middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. <clears throat> you didn't shoot him. I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. <laughs> Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. <laughs> and Garrus didn't shoot him, so... <laughs> Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. <laughs> and this time, guys, this time I'm be doing something a bit different. Get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sidonis. I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? 
You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. We're always gonna be with you, Garrus. Now Garrus has got armor piercing rounds. So that's something. Now to head back into the Normandy. his new outfit now. now what does the elusive man want now let's go talk to Garrus weren't you originally stationed on horizon yes if I had to join Cerberus I'd be abducted by the collectors right now Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. <laughs> it's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. People don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a heavy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around, and I'm with you regardless. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. 
Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Do you ever regret leaving CSAC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. <laughs> Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. You know me, I'm always up for hitting things. And if it makes you feel better... <laughs> I'd rather not add my name to the list of people you've knocked on their asses. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. And don't worry about me. Whatever happens, I'll be there. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Alright then. So I guess he doesn't want to talk yet. Alright. So guys, I guess we are going to stop it here for now. So that will be all for this time. If y'all enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and comment and please subscribe. And I do hope to see you all in the next episode, guys. See y'all later. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, well,